Well, we kicked off our Thursday with very warm temperatures and we're still warming as we in fact are seeing that heat advisory in effect for a couple of our counties. As of right now, all of Stevenson, Joe Davey, Carroll and Whiteside County under that heat advisory with those heat index values climbing into the upper 90s, even breaking into those lower hundreds for very warm temperatures later today. Doesn't expire until 9 p.m. The rest of us not in this advisory will likely still feel very similar heat. So taking a look at your current temperatures. Now, mind you, we are just in the noon hour, already pushing 90 degrees in a couple of spots. 89 for Freeport, 90 over in Dixon, 88 for both Winnebago and Rockford, 89 getting close to the 90s down into Rochelle as well. And we're still going to climb, likely to break into those 90s, already broken that record here in Rockford, past set 87 degrees in 2011. Feels like it, taking into account that humidity, Feels like we're already into the hundreds in Freeport, Mount Carroll, even getting close to it in places like Sterling. A touch cooler, if you will, but still feeling very warm and really oppressive with those dew points within the 70s. Wind up again breaking that record like we already did. We're forecasted to climb into those lower 90s. May even see that record fall for your high low temperatures as we head into tonight with temperatures to stick within the middle to upper 60s. So taking a look at future track feels like conditions early into the afternoon. It feels Feels like we're going to get into those upper 90s by the time we head into the latter half of our day, getting a little closer to that evening commute and perhaps dinner time. Not much has changed. It's not until we head into tonight. You'll notice those temperatures quickly end up falling a little bit of relief there for you early into tomorrow morning. It'll feel like we're back into those upper 60s, so not too bad. We're still going to feel a little bit of heat and humidity tomorrow, but perhaps won't be as oppressive as we're feeling it right now and into this afternoon. So temperatures still to climb into those lower 90s. That haze is still going to stick with us, and that's actually from those wildfires all the way west from New Mexico got caught in that ridging pattern, even along with that heat. Record warmth already present with us. Good news is there's some kind of a breeze. Winds will gust up to about 25 miles an hour, even into tonight. Can't rule out a pop-up shower or a storm very similar to what we saw yesterday. Likely to stay mostly clear and calm into tonight as our temperatures fall into the upper 60s through the overnight hours. Now, we'll see a better chance for thunderstorms into tomorrow. Almost all of our area, a two out of five as we take a look at that storm potential. Looks like we may end up seeing a little bit of a squall line firing up as it crosses the Mississippi. This is into your Friday evening. Here's 530. Pushing over into much of northern Illinois, really staying west of I-39, you'll notice as it fizzles out as we head into Friday night. Saturday, though, brings yet another potential lower on the scale, just a one out of five for you. Still something to look out for as we head a little bit closer to the weekend and more details will become clear as well, especially into tomorrow. So one more day, perhaps with very hot and oppressive conditions. You'll see that sunshine dominating with a very low chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms to bubble up. Most of us will stay dry until tomorrow evening and in your most accurate 10 day forecast. We'll see temperatures slowly starting to cool. So this is when that relief slowly starts to come. Those storms and that cold front bringing in all the activity tomorrow will drop us into the 70s, even briefly upper 60s for next week, Evan. Thank you very much.